Hey guys, my name is Jason with Mount Baker Mining Metals, and today we're going to be refining some silver jewelry sweeps. All right, so this guy sent me, uh, I think, six different bags here, and I've split them up into two different sections. This, these two bags here have pretty much pure metal in them. It's, it's little metal beads and pieces of metal and stuff like that. These other four bags have uh, a bunch of dirt and a little bit of plastic and carpet fibers, just a bunch of junk in there that we don't want. And so uh, my strategy is I'm going to take uh, these four bags and I'm going to smelt them down so we can get rid of all those organics, get rid of all that junk that we don't want in there, and end up with some metal beads that we can then cupel and refine um, with our, uh, our lead uh, cupelling process. So um, let me get these weighed out, figure out how much weight we have, and we'll mix up a flux recipe. And then with these two, I'm going to just put them right in a cupel with some lead. We'll put them in our electric furnace and get the uh, lead melting. The oxides will drive off and take with them, hopefully, a lot of the base metals, like the copper and aluminum and zinc and, and stuff like that. Uh, and then we'll be left with our precious metal beads. So um, that's kind of our process. So let's get started. And here's our metal fraction. It weighs 77.93 grams. So that's our starting weight for our uh, metal we're going to put right into the furnace. All right, and this is a magnesia cupel. And I have a bunch of videos talking about how this works, so I'll, I'll kind of just brief over how that works. Uh, but I'm going to put our metal in here that we're going to refine. And I'm going to mix a little bit of lead in with this. It actually looks like there's some lead in here already. But I'm going to put uh, some lead on here, maybe about 30 grams worth. And as I uh, bring this up to temperature, I'm going to get it up to about 1,750 degrees, 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit. The lead will melt. And at about 1,740 degrees, the lead oxide starts to melt. And our alloy button that will be molten, the lead oxide will start to shed off that button and be absorbed by the cupel. The metal, the alloy that's left, isn't absorbed by the cupel, and the lead oxide continually sheds off, carrying with it all the base metal oxides, and the gold, the silver, the platinum, the palladium, any, any precious metals in there that don't oxidize, stay, and as the lead goes away, it shrinks down and eventually blinks over into a solid precious metal button. All right, here's our cupel. This is a little electric furnace here that gets up to, I think the maximum temperature is 2200 degrees. But I'm going to turn it on and get this all heated up. I'll place, probably to start with, I'll place about 20 grams of lead on top. And we'll get it heated up and we'll check back on it in a little bit. All right, let's check on our metal in the cupel furnace here. There it's gone. Might be hard to see. Let's see if I can do this. There's the lead oxide coming off the surface. So we'll let that go a little bit longer and hopefully we get a button when we're done. All right, we'll open our furnace here. All right, here's our little silver button. This is uh, from the metallic fractions that we did right in the cupel. And 
Um, I did this on purpose. I wanted to show you guys these little silver sprouts. Um, these occur when almost pure silver cools down. And uh, the molten silver has oxygen dissolved in it a little bit, a very, very small amount. But as it cools down, the silver um, expels the oxygen, essentially. And it creates these little, they're called silver sprouts. And so you can see in these little protrusions on top of the silver. So here's our first button, uh, 26 and three quarter grams or so. We started with, I think it was uh, just under 80 grams. Um, and so you can see how much base metals we removed through the cupelling process. And now we should be left with pretty much pure silver. All right, now here's all the other stuff that had all the junk in it. Um, and it looks like there's actually a lot of copper in here. That green, kind of, I'm thinking that might be copper and there's some little copper flakes, but um, there's lots of chunks of metal. So we're just gonna smelt all this down. I just weighed it, it weighs 290 grams. There's 290 grams worth of stuff here. Um, so let's mix up a, a flux recipe and we'll get it smelted down and end up with our, our metallic button at the end that when we can then put in a cupel and cupel it just like we did our metallic fraction from earlier. All right, here's our flux we mixed up and it's 200 grams of anhydrous borax, 200 grams of soda ash and 100 grams of silica sand. And we're gonna mix these two together and put them in this, uh, this number five crucible here that we're gonna smelt it all down and pour it into our cone mold when it's all molten and all the metal will go to the bottom. The slag will float on top that we can break off and recover our metal button from. All right, here we are ready to go in our furnace. All right, guys, here's our cone mold. We've got our slag in there. We're going to tip it over, and hopefully we get a metal button on the bottom. All right, so there's our slag. It's real red and glassy, uh, indicating a bunch of copper in there. But we're interested right here in the point. As you can see. Well, there it kind of is. I'll get it cleaned up a little bit better, but uh, we got a pretty good sized metal button there. And here's our little uh, metal pyramid, I guess you'd say. Uh, I got it weighed, it weighs about 185 grams, and I think we started with 290, so uh, we removed about 100 grams of junk or so. And a lot of that was just the organics, the a little bit of sand and, and stuff that was in there. We haven't really done any refining yet. The slag really just removed any oxides that were in there. All the metal fraction is, is pretty much in this button. So now we'll take this and put it in a cupel, add some lead, and we'll remove the base metals that are in here and get it down just to our precious metals. All right, here's our last button in the furnace with some lead. We'll get her heating up and uh, see what we can get. Okay, here's our two beads. We got the first one I did here, and then this is the one that just came out of the Cupel furnace. Um, quite a bit bigger, uh, but let's get it weighed here, and we'll see how much we got for the big one. The big one weighs 
almost 92 grams. And let's see if my scale can do both of them here. 118 and a half grams. So just under 120 grams. Um, so there's our, there's our refined silver, um, from all that stuff, but it's still got some of this black junk from the cupels on it. Um, this one still has just a little bit of oxidation left in the surface. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the two buttons, going to combine them in a crucible and mix in, uh, you know, a little bit of borax, maybe 50 grams of borax, melt the silver down uh, into um, one single button, pour it into the cone mold, and we'll get a little pure silver pyramid. Um, and one other thing while I'm standing here, I've got this one that has little silver sprouts. This one does not. And the way I prevented them on this one was to cool it down very slowly in the furnace. Um, and so I stepped it down at about 100 degrees at a time and let it kind of um, equalize at each temperature. And that way you can uh, get the oxygen out slowly rather than kind of having this explosive um, you know, texture on it like that. So um, I wanted to show you guys that just uh, for your information, but that's how you get away with refining silver without those silver sprouts. All right, while we're cooled down here, let's turn her over and see what we got. So pretty wild slag colors going on there. You can see our silver block there sitting on top of the pyramid. All right, and there's our silver pyramid. You can see it separated, separated real nice from the slag there, nice flat bottom. There's no BBs or anything sticking out of the sides. It's a real nice bright silver color. And when it's all said and done, it's 114.26 grams. So that worked out really good. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. You can find our contact information in the description below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.